Today we're going to learn how to manage the list of potential investors using a tool called Monday, also known as the PUS. In the application's main view, we can easily create a new project. So let's call it a sell-side transaction process. Now it's time to add the investors we identified as the ones who might be interested in the transaction. So let's add some investors to our list. It's probably worth to put more information about them to speed up our communication, like email or phone number, but it's up to you which fields you're going to create. You can also create their real address, the, the country they're from, or the industry. You can also set the person responsible for each contact. Now when we have the contacts ready, let's structure the way we are going to communicate. So we can set different transactions phases, like phase 1, phase 2, phase 3, but we can also call them directly, like teaser, information memorandum, or non-binding offer. So we have the list ready. How do we use it right now? So we contacted numerous investors, but unfortunately haven't managed to reach anybody at private equity fund. So let's leave it as a to-do then. Of course, we can also add notes to different investors so that our teammates or the projects manager can easily check what's going on in the transaction process. One of our investors agreed to sign NDA, so we mark the next phase as a to-do and another investor said they're not interested. So this is how we easily manage the whole process of the transaction and communication between us and the potential investors. What's quite nice about it is that we can also cooperate with our team in real time and see every small change other people make to the list. Finally, we can export the list to the Excel file for our documentation or to be sent to our client. So this was how you can manage the long list of investors more effectively using Monday by Pixas.com.